Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Pataka Maggie Z2 case for the 13 inch iPad Pro M4 as well as the folio for the iPad Pro. And a huge shout out to Pataka for sending this stuff out to me to review for you guys. So taking a look at the box, it does say premium woven case for 13 inch iPad Pro. Pataka here, it says woven from Aramid fiber, Magic Keyboard compatible and Apple Pencil Pro compatible. Now taking a look at the back, you just kind of get a little bit of a picture here, some more information, and that's pretty much it. Now, here where it says Magic Keyboard compatible, I have a little bit of an issue with that, and that is why the title of this video is what it is, because this one thing absolutely just kills the case, and really, I can't really use it too much. But anyways, let's take a look. Now, the price on this one is $69.99, and of course, links will be down in the description below for you guys to check this out, as well as the folio. So basically you just take this out here and I've already been using it as you guys can see. I have the plastic and stuff. So not really too much else in the packaging. And let's go ahead and set this off to the side over here and take a look. Now on the back, as you guys can see, I didn't wipe this down because I did want to show you that it is going to catch some fingerprints on this, but most of the time it's going to be against your magic keyboard. So may not be the biggest deal in the world. And of course you do get your connector pins right here. That is what's going to connect to the magic keyboard. It just connects right there and you're good to go here. It does have a little bit of Pataka branding and you do have your camera ring there. Now we'll take a look at that once the iPad is in here to see the protection on that. Now moving along to the inside, you do have this Pataka MagSafe, not really MagSafe, but their Pataka magnet, so you can use their other accessories that aren't necessarily the Magic Keyboard and it will have that magnet built in here, so that's nice. And you have the connector pins there. So let's go ahead and actually see how thin this is. Now a lot of people worry about these cases being a little too thick. This one, you don't have to worry about that. So from back to front, taking a look, you are looking at 7.4 millimeters and inside to outside, we are looking at one millimeter right there. So very thin case, I really like that. So let's go ahead and take our iPad and put this on. Now, the one thing about this is it's a super, super tight fit, which I, of course, I really do like that. You just gotta kinda click it on everywhere and you'll be good to go. Just kinda make sure everything is lined up properly. And here we go. So taking a look, you do not really get any screen protection on this one. It's a very thin case. So I definitely don't recommend setting this down on its face at all, but you are going to get a tiny bit of camera protection right there. Hopefully the camera picks that up. Not too much, nothing too crazy, but it is there enough to where you can set this down on its back and you will be good to go. I'm someone who uses the Apple Pencil Pro to sign a lot of documents. So I take my iPad and I lay it down on its back often in order to sign some stuff. So this is where this kind of comes in handy. That back protection is enough right there just so you guys don't scratch up the camera lens or scratch up the back. And of course it is Apple Pencil Pro compatible. There we go, the pencil is charging. So you definitely don't have to worry about that. Now let's go ahead and bring over our Magic Keyboard and I'll show you guys the biggest issue I have with this thing. So when you put it on here, everything is good to go. You can sit here, type around. Obviously the iPad is working. There's no issues. Let's go ahead and start a note real quick and we'll do a little typing here. So of course it is working right there with the Magic Keyboard, no issues at all. And then you can take your pencil, not that it really matters, but you can draw on there, whatever. So it does work just fine with the Magic Keyboard. However, the only issue that I have with this is when it comes to actually closing it up. And if you guys can see that, I'm gonna sit here and try to close it. It won't close all the way. That is the biggest issue for me because also it doesn't close enough to the point where if you guys can see right through there, the screen is still on. So I'll go ahead and try to close it again, pop it open, and it turns the screen on, which is a huge issue for me. I'm someone who takes my iPad all the time around. I take it to work with me. I take it everywhere I go. I close it a lot. I open it a lot. And if I want to just lay it down like this, for all I know, my iPad is just kind of open. Things can get inside here and whatnot, but also it will start kind of draining the battery all the time because the screen will turn on. If this moves the slightest bit, it turns on the screen. So that is a huge issue for me. And just showing you guys what it looks like from the side profile here. Let me move the Apple Pencil. That is what it's going to look like. So for that reason right there, this is not something I can use on the daily basis because 
it just doesn't close. And I really hate that. I contacted Pitaka about it. They told me that it had something to do with the design of the new Magic Keyboard, how there's much less space and things like that. But really, I don't know if that's just an excuse, what the case may be, but Pitaka, please, if you guys are listening, I really would love to see you guys refine that. So this is a better case, because right now, all around, it's great, except for the fact that it does not close with the Magic Keyboard, and that is the biggest issue for me with this thing. But taking a look at the sides of it, we'll start here off at the top of the iPad. We are looking at your two speaker ports here, as well as the microphone right there. And let's take a listen to how that power button sounds. You definitely get some click on the power button. On the right hand side, you do have your volume up and down buttons here, your spot for the Apple Pencil, as well as another microphone right there. And let's hear how these buttons sound real quick. Very nice clicky buttons on here, no issues with that at all. Moving along to the bottom, it is completely closed in. Besides your two speaker ports here and your USB Type-C port right there. And then of course, this part here, the left hand side of the iPad, is what faces down towards the bottom of the Magic Keyboard, towards the actual keyboard part, and that is completely open right there. So, all in all, this thing is nice, but I just can't do it for that price for 70 bucks. The fact that this thing does not close with the Magic Keyboard really ruins it for me, honestly. So, I don't know if I can recommend this to you guys. If, unless you're someone who uses just an iPad like this, you just want this super slim, minimal case, or it doesn't bother you that the Magic Keyboard is open and doesn't close all the way. Maybe you're somebody who just doesn't close the Magic Keyboard. You could just be somebody that keeps this on their desk open all the time. And in that case, if all you do is you keep it open and then you take it off every once in a while to sign something, don't even worry about it. Definitely pick it up because you're not closing it so it's not gonna be an issue for you. But if you are someone who does do that, definitely be careful. This is something that may bother you and may be an issue if you close your iPad a lot. Now moving along to the MagEasy Folio 2, let's go ahead and bring this over here and take a look. So of course you do get your flap here for the pencil. And let's see, before we take the MagEasy 2 off, will it work with this with the MagEasy 2 on there? And your answer is yes, it will work. So that's very nice to see, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and take it off for the purposes of this video so you get the full experience of just the folio itself. Now, one thing about this is it does take a little bit to get it off, but you are able to really with no issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that over here and let's take a look. So we'll go ahead and attach the folio and let's see. So you are gonna get a bunch of different angles with this and it's a little bit difficult to close and kind of this always flaps around and all that, but let's take a look. Now on the front, you are gonna get your little lines here that are gonna give you that option to fold in different ways. Some Pitaka branding right there. You do get that Apple Pencil holder right here, the little flap, which let's go ahead and put the pencil on, flap it open just like that, or flap it closed, I should say. And of course, it's going to keep that pencil nice and secure. For right now, I'm gonna take this off though. And then that's pretty much it. On the back is just the same kind of material right here. It almost feels like leather, but I don't think this is real leather. This is definitely not real leather but it feels like this just very nice, nice kind of little texture to it. I do like the material. And then of course you are gonna get a little bit of that camera ring protection right there. Now taking a look at all the angles you get with this case, let's see, first starting off, we're going to do the 57 degree angle. Now this is one that Pataka says is great for watching your video. So you do have this very nice angle here, sit here, turn on the iPad, and it is a very nice angle to sit there and watch your videos. But you can also, I mean, if you wanna type like that, you can take your pencil and draw on here in this way, whatever you wanna do. I think I would use this folio in this specific angle just to watch videos pretty much. Then moving along, you are going to get a 53 degree angle. So basically it's just a reverse of this one. So you just kind of pull that back like this. And this is also very nice to watch videos. It's a little bit lower than the 57 degree, but what that also means is that it's good to watch videos and to use as a second screen. So if you have your MacBook here open, this is going to have a nice angle to it. That way you can have a MacBook here, the iPad here, and you'll be good to go with a second screen in that direction. All right, next we have our 34 degree angle, which they're saying is meant for drawing. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this over 
and then flip the iPad over just like this and you have this nice little leg right there that'll give you that 34 degree angle and it does make it a lot easier to sit here and draw without your wrist getting tired of being too flex forward or without it being too flat. So that way you have a little bit of an angle. You can draw, write, take notes, whatever you need to do. This 34 degree angle will give you that option. And then you're also gonna get a 62 degree angle, which will allow you to view vertical documents. So basically you just take this, fold this back like this in that 57 degree angle, and just turn it vertically to its side. And there you go. So if you want to, you can even type like this. Again, you can draw, write, sketch, whatever you do, but they say that this one is the best angle for that document viewing vertical angle. So if you wanna sign a contract and you need to read something over, or if you're reading a book, anything like that, this will be good to go for you. So the price on this one is $49.99, and let's talk about the colors. Now, I did miss the colors on the Mag Easy 2, so to start off with that, we are going to get this black gray color, and you're also going to get a Canyon Yellow. Now, the Mag Easy Folio 2 is going to come in this black, which you guys see here. It's gonna come in light blue and in white. Now, like I said, the price on this one is $49.99, and links will be down in the description below to both of these cases. Now, I do recommend the Pataka Mag Easy Folio 2 if you're someone who wants all the different angles, but that super slim profile. Now, let's take a look at just how slim this is with the actual iPad on here. So. Really, it's very, very thin. You're looking at 10.8 millimeters on that. And then just the iPad itself, let's go ahead and measure that real quick. Take a look. The iPad by itself, you're looking at 6.3. So it's not too much thicker for all of the different options that you are getting with this. But for all of that, for $49.99, I can recommend the Magazi Folio 2. Like I said, if you do want all those angles and you want something thin, magnetically attached with that Apple Pencil holder, you'll be good to go with that. But the Magazi 2 for 70 bucks, no, I can't recommend this, guys. Let me know what you guys think about these down in the comments below. I'm really interested to know what you guys are thinking, especially about the Mag Easy 2. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll be covering a bunch of iPhone 16 accessories on the channel. We're hitting it really, really hard. As many accessories as I can cover, they will be on the channel for that iPhone 16. And if you guys are interested in seeing another great folio for the iPad Pro, that's a little bit thicker, more protective, but gives you so many options, I'll leave that video right there.